You might be wondering why this MBTA Green Line Extension first day video is taking place in New Haven. Well, I'm on my way back to Boston, but I had some Amtrak tickets that I couldn't change because I bought them during a sale. I get back to South Station at 11.57, which means I'll probably get home home at around 12.30, 12.40. And the first train on the Green Line extension is at 4.50 a.m. and I have to walk to Union Square to get there. This is gonna be interesting, I think, I would say, perhaps, probably, likely. Good Lord, I need sleep. Good news, we arrived 10 minutes early, which means that I'll get three hours and 10 minutes of sleep instead of three hours of sleep. All right, it's about 12.30. I've got an alarm set for 3.30. See you then. It's 3.45. This is one of the more miserable I've been what? Ooh, it's cold. So because the MBTA can't provide any kind of night service, because I don't know why, I had to leave the house at 3.50 a.m. Uh, to get to Union Station by 4.50, because it's a 50 minute walk to Union Station. Mass Ave at 3.57 a.m. I'm interested in how many people will actually be on this first train. The rumblings on Twitter have suggested that it's actually going to be a decent amount of people, but perhaps less so those who are interested in transit, and more so just people who like transit, who live in Union Square and are just kind of excited to ride the train. Well, look who I just ran into. Petru. Yeah, biking over Somerville Avenue. That's crazy. So you're probably going to get there earlier than me. Yeah, I think so. I'm walking. You probably picked a better option in terms of mode. See you there. All right, see ya. Bye. Union Square says the sign. We're almost there. Hey, it's the Bow Market. That's a pretty cool place. And uh, it's cool that it'll be accessible by train now. It's cool that all this will be accessible by train now. There's the T elevator, so you gotta get it from Prospect Street and not Webster Ave. That's a little annoying. It'd be nice if it was like a, something, some way to get over there from here, but you know, it's okay. The crowd is drawn. It's 4 30. The train's not even for 20 minutes. I used to live on, uh, like, near the Brooklyn line. Woo! How excited are you, Jordan? Uh, no comment. Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, good. Oh, there is a line to validate. Uh, I'm gonna Not rant gonna about the up. validation thing. Here's the process. You validate your fare here. You tap your card. You hit validation. You tap it again. It validates. You get a receipt. You're supposed to keep it with you. And it's a weird receipt. Well, that makes no sense. flashing arrow says when the next train is, which in this case is this one, obviously. I like how the map on the train is not actually accurate to this extension. An inaugural trip from Union Square. Woo! Woo! Well, that's that, I guess. That's a minute late. <laughs> not much to see right now, it's too dark. New Lechmere, which conversely has no one waiting for it because you might as well have gone to Union if you're going on the first train. And now we're back in familiar Lechmere Byron territory. So I think the plan is to take this all the way down to Heath Street and then just come back up. So this is Heath Street, this is the first Full revenue train's gonna go back up to Union Square. Oof. This is 
Boylston. The destination of this train is... Union Square. Safe numbering required on MDCA vehicles and in and that is four voices for one transit announcement. I really like that when I was by here in the evening. Like the limiting factor on red line throughput is how many people can get on the train. Oh, that is perfect. Yay. All right, now it's time to review Union Square and the new Leechmere. Sunny, do you want to be on camera? Hi, Miles. Hi, Sunny. So this is the end of the platform. It's kind of ends. There's no other exit here. Hey, Petru. Hello. Nathan. Hello. It's a very simple platform, honestly. I'm going to continue to rant about this map and how it doesn't show Union Square as a branch. It's also worth noting that the map isn't currently correct. The E is going to Union and the D will... Well, the D, I don't know where the D ends right now, but it'll eventually be the D to Union, but the map's not quite correct right now. Really not that many benches. There's one wastebasket train here with a nice traffic cone stopping it from going any further. That seems interesting. More benches. Ooh, area map. You know, shows everything. Pretty nice. There is a bell that rings when the trains leave, which is kind of fun. Thank you to everyone. This walkway goes from the platform to the exit. So here's a little entrance area. We've got a sign, a time, a half time clock, waste pass emergency thing. The validation system, terrible. Okay, well, this is the one exit. There's some bike racks here. I think there are more on the other side. Here's the pedal and park. Hi, everyone. Well, I guess it works. Is the start of the multi-use trail where people can roll on the light? I don't know. These lights aren't operational. This might just be acting as a second exit right now. So this is just a really weird second exit that I guess is technically accessible. Watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> they do call it accessible, so I guess somehow the ADA was okay with that. This Dunks is now transit accessible from the Green Line. This is the closest bus stop to the station, but it only serves two routes in only one direction. I'm kind of upset they didn't put a bus facility here because really a redesign of the system should have Union Square as a focal point rather than Leechmere. I guess this is accessible. It says it is. It's a ramp. So there will be stairs here eventually and the elevator is also not operational but it is still accessible because of that ramp so i think i can score the station now sunny do you have any thoughts i mean it's still largely a construction site it's yeah open is here i'd say right now it's probably given the validator especially and just the construction and poor connections Probably a 6 out of 10 for Union Square. Now we're going to take the next train one stop to Leechmere and then review Leechmere. 37, Again, the map not up to date. Now we join with the future Medford branch. This seems to be the most spectacular of the stations, definitely the most involved as far as the review goes. There's two entrances on either side, so we'll check the O'Brien Highway one first. There's an emergency thing, an evacuation chair for wheelchairs, and stairs going down, but we have to do an elevator review. All glass. <laughs> Isolated control panel. Right, why is this here? There's no door on this side. Ooh, this is fast. Green I love the leaves. And street. Yeah. Not platform and street. Yeah, green, green line. line. This is a good elevator. So there's sort of a waiting area here. The validation thing, that points off automatically. A couple of benches. And then some bike racks. Bike racks. A pedal and park, another one. The old Leechmere is still just kind of here. I think I like the new one more. 
This one doesn't even give you the pretense of having a trolley car tap. This is just like, yeah, the door will just open up. Maybe someday we'll have trolley car support. Push to open. It's a well-placed blue bike station here. Sadly, no crosswalk, but close enough. Here's the other entrance. These signs are just like two T signs plopped together, which is less fun than a globe, but I guess it's cheaper. So, this station has a busway. Also, oh, lots of bike racks here too. Wow, they really decked this out. Buses this way. Seems like it's not super substantive, just a, a little loop beneath the viaduct. There don't seem to be any berths. It's just sort of buses come wherever. See, honestly, the old bus was a little better. It was all under a structure. Okay, well, it's a busway. It exists. Trains this way. And indeed, there are trains. This looks like a bus ops building, so good view of the busway from there. Don't forget to validate your fares. And then here's kind of an indoor waiting area. Oh, it's not indoor. It's kind of sheltered by the stairs. Okay. There are two elevators. The T really loves doing redundant elevators now. It's nice. So if one breaks down, um, you know, there'll be another one available. I'm curious if you hit this one, will the other one open? Nope. Oh, come on, they're disconnected. Oh, hi, Jay. Hello, dude. Hi. hi. So this platform is very wide and very long. I don't know where, this is longer than a two-car train, so I don't know where trains stop in relation to everything. There's an area map here. It's pretty nice, shows the buses and whatnot, and including the new routes they're taking to get to the busway. Let's see, benches in the middle. It's a nice canopy. You know, the whole thing is sheltered. And there's history. So I think new Leechmere, again, factoring in the validation, factoring that there's not really any indoor space or anything, I think it's a seven out of 10 right now. But once you get rid of the validation, it might be an eight. Park. The and this is exactly the same. It's funny that Science Park is a gated station and Leechmere isn't. Also, trains every six to seven minutes. Well, the docks strike again. This is a really cool junction. You know, it's great. Like, the extension's great, but we are, uh, the water's kind of slow. We've been sitting here for minutes. Yeah, like, They're giving out free posters. Check that out. This arrow is flashing left, but this train left first, so there's something fishy with this sign. I might take out my half point for that. Yeah, I don't do half points. So it's now 8.03, we're kind of in the first morning rush for Union Square, and so regular commuters are starting to, you know, file on. What I'm curious about is how long does it take to get to Park Street from here? Park Street, we're calling kind of the downtown stop. I think the door's closed. You start when the door's closed? Yeah. That's not the next stop. We are just leaving Union. It's actually happened on the way to Union before. We were leaving Leechmere and it said next stop Science Park. Uh, pulling around the Flying Junction, the speed limit's 10 on here. It, it seems like Union Square is generally kind of a slow line. First Leechmere, stop. it's been almost five minutes, which actually does seem kind of long. We're crawling over the viaduct now. Um, so we did the math. It's about a mile from Leechmere to Union Square. And it took about five minutes. I mean, the train goes about 12 miles an hour. That doesn't seem that fast. Not great. Ridership was fairly low coming from Union, but now we're about to get slammed. Park Street. Timer stops when we step up. Stop. All right. Almost like exactly 17 minutes and 30 seconds. That's not bad. Two minutes over. Given that Union Square had no direct link to downtown prior to today, that's a game changer. Exactly. This is going to be huge. I'll give this train credit. It does have an updated map. We're leaving Leechmere, apparently going to Science Park. We have the train to ourselves. Yeah. We maybe should have timed this coming this way too because every time we come into Union Square where we hit the stop and we stop several times. 
So we use, so. yeah, we use the timestamps of uh, our our filming. So about 19 minutes to get here, but yeah. it's still way, way faster, faster than, than what was there before. <laughs> <laughs> Good coordination. All right, the footage of me immediately after riding the Green Line extension, talking about the Green Line extension has been corrupted for some reason. So you get me in my room. The Green Line extension is really exciting, and it's awesome that's happening. There are some operational kinks, so having to validate your fare. Uh, the stations aren't fully complete yet, and uh, it's kind of slow. There's like random stops in places. Overall, it's it's just really exciting to see it happening, and it's going to transform Union Square, and I'm sure it's going to transform um, you know Medford and Somerville, and that branch opens too. I guess my main goal now isn't sleeping, but it's clear from my throat status that I do need to sleep more. But I have to edit the video, so. Uh...